Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Triple Double Nation. Today we're looking at how Nikola Jokic ranks among the NBA's MVP candidates. Let's get right into the video. Number five, Chris Paul. Chris Paul has had an incredible season pulling up the rising Phoenix Suns team to almost a top seed in the West. The Suns were only two games back from the Utah Jazz and are two games ahead of the LA Clippers. After the impressive bubble showing last year, the Suns team has come out with an edge and is proving a lot of doubters wrong. Paul's scoring has decreased to 16 points per game, but is still averaging his usual 8.8 assists per game. It's incredible to think that Nikola Jokic and the point god have near the same number of assists per game, with Chris getting the nod with 0.1 assists per game more. Paul also has a plethora of offensive help with the skilled Devin Booker and the dominant interior force of DeAndre Ayton. He has raised each of their individual ceilings and has been a proven leader for the skilled young team. Jokic's MVP case is stronger than Paul's as he is nearly averaging a triple-double with 11 rebounds per game and the Nuggets are only 3.5 games back from the Sun. Jokic also has lost his all-star teammate in Jamal Murray and has been tasked with running all the team's offense. Since Murray has gone down with his strained right knee in the torn ACL in the left, the Nuggets are still streaking at 8-2. The Suns would not be in the same position if they had lost Devin Booker, even with the stellar play of Chris Paul this season. Number 4, Julius Randle. Julius Randle has been very impressive this season. The New York Knicks have made a leap and much of that can be credited to Randle's improvement. He has improved in every aspect of his game and should be the league leader for the Most Improved Player of the Year award when you consider where he was last year to where he is now. Compared to Nikola Jokic, there is not much of a statistical difference between the two. Jokic does lead him in all major statistical categories. He has the nod with 26.4 points per game, 11 rebounds, and 8.7 assists per game. Randall is averaging 23.9 points, 10.5 rebounds, and 6.1 assists. Randall's ability to create his own offense while finding good opportunities for his teammates has really unlocked his game. He's doubled his career average in assists, and he is still shooting 41% from three on almost six attempts per game. While both players are equally as important to their respective team's offense, the overall success of the Nuggets gives an advantage to the Joker. Randall does have the Knicks up to the fourth seed in the East and is locked in on the defensive end of the floor. Knicks head coach Tom Thibodeau has them playing 90-style basketball with hard-fought defense and a slow pace, which makes Randall's efficiency that much more impressive. While it's fun to have a New York Knicks and MVP contention, this is not the season Randall will win the award. They won 41 of 72 games this season, and while they are still a four seed, the team and Randall have not been dominant enough to be deserving of MVP. Number three, Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry is on a ridiculous tear recently. Over the last month, he had 11 games scoring more than 32 points and five over 40. He has willed this talent-deprived Golden State Warriors team to some big wins to pursue a run at the play-in tournament. These stats are no comparison to Jokic when you think of the success the Nuggets have had, even with their equal injury plague season. Offensively, Curry has been on another level this season, leading the NBA in ridiculous scoring and would join the 40-50-90 club with 42.5% from the three-point zone, 57% from the two-point zone, and 92.2% from the free throw line. Jokic is right in his tail scoring 26.4 points per game on 41.1% from the three-point zone, 60.4% from the two-point zone, and 85.4% from the free throw line. This historic season from Steph Curry may be MVP worthy. However, the Warriors are the ninth seed in the West. They currently have a 39-33 record. There have been only two MVPs awarded to a player with a losing record. Back in 1955 and 1975, when Kareem won MVP, the only MVP without a playoff appearance. Number two, Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid went down with an injury that caused him to miss 20 games this season for the Philadelphia 76ers. In his 40 games played, Embiid is averaging an impressive 30.1 points per game with 11.3 rebounds. However, Embiid is still averaging his normal 3.2 turnovers, which is equivalent to an equal 1 to 1 ratio with his assists. Compared to the wizardry of the Joker, who is averaging 26.4 points and 11 rebounds, but averaging almost 9 assists per game at 8.7, Jokic has the highest win share out of the entire league at 12.9 compared to Embiid's 7.6. He also leads Embiid in the rest of the league in VORP, value over replacement player, at 7.1. The advanced metrics are clearly pointing to the fact that Jokic has been the more complete player this season. The MVP award normally falls to the player with the best season on a top four team in the conference. While Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers are the first seed in the Eastern Conference, they only had a two game lead and were third seed, Nuggets in the West. Therefore, the record argument between the two should be non-existent. While Embiid had the strongest case for Jokic for MVP, the statistics and availability clearly show that the Joker deserves the MVP this season. Number one, himself. Jokic says he used to drink three liters of Coke per day growing up and often had cheese pies for breakfast. 
His strength coach declared him obese after he could not do a single push-up. At the time, he was 6 foot 11 and over 300 pounds. This was despite him playing multiple sports including basketball, soccer, and volleyball. Today, he credits his ability to play multiple sports with the way he sees the floor and how he can make incredible passes. One of the more interesting sports he continues to play is water polo, which is where he believes his ability to throw full-court dimes has come from. After just three practices, after he shed a bit of weight, the coaches knew they had a star in their hands. His willingness to pass and create for his teammates was incredible, and despite him being 6'11 with the frame to destroy anyone on the block, he was routinely found at the free throw line trying to dissect the defense with his passing. Going into the 2014 NBA draft, Jokic was still incredibly unathletic, and according to an NBA scout, the guy had no muscle definition. He couldn't really jump. Despite his physical flaws and the negative stereotypes foreign players were receiving, the Denver Nuggets ended up selecting him in the second round with the 42nd pick. Incredibly, Jokic did not expect to make the leap to the NBA for a few more years. He was ready to play for FC Barcelona's basketball club. However, they wanted to watch him play one last time and he came out to the tune of 4 points and 3 rebounds with no defensive effort. After this single game, Barcelona backed out of their original deal and Denver was able to convince him to come work out with the team in the United States following the end of his professional season in Serbia. Before the start of the 2015 season, he shed 35 pounds of weight to be better prepared for the pace of the NBA game. He did not expect to have much playing time, however, he finished the season with 10 points, 7 rebounds, and just under 3 assists. He was third in Rookie of the Year voting and was named to the All-Rookie First Team. The quiet big man has been on an incredible journey since then. In his second season in the league, he averaged 16.7 points, 9.8 rebounds, 4.9 assists, with 58% shooting from the field. He ended up being 6th in the league in field goal percentage and 7th in the league in overall box plus minus at 7.3. He even had a higher win share per 48 minutes than the eventual MVP, Russell Westbrook. This was clearly a sign of things to come, especially as we look back on the historic season he had this year. Let's take a look at how statistically dominant he has been this season. He has been super efficient shooting from every area of the floor. He's averaging 41.1% from the three-point zone, 60.4% from the two-point zone, and 85.4% from the free throw line. Then consider the fact that he is nearly averaging a triple-double on the season with 11 rebounds and 8.7 assists per game, really watching the basketball unicorn play. The Joker is top five in assists in the league. The four players ahead of him include Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Trey Young, and Chris Paul. Three of these point guards are already no doubt Hall of Famers, and Trey is not far behind. And then there is the 280-pound, 6'11", Nikola Jokic. He is averaging a triple-double as he had to take over nearly all of the offensive responsibilities of the Nuggets due to the injuries they have faced at the guard positions. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below, and see you guys next time. Have a great day.